Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. Just very quickly, the last few videos I was making from uh, our living room and I was talking about the view that we have um, from our living room. Um, I just want to give you a little bit more detailed picture how the view looks like because uh, um, in the other videos maybe um, you were not able to see all the details. Anyways, I really love this view and that's why I want to share it with you. Um, most likely, if you are living in any large city around the world, you can probably relate and you see outside of your uh, living room something similar. Um, uh, let me show you. Just uh, apartment buildings. But what is cool about it, the apartment buildings over here are not so close together. So you still have a privacy and uh, it's really really beautiful in the evening when it's really dark and uh, the buildings are lit up the pools and um, the backyards of the condominiums are lit up it's uh, it's really something else so this is how a typical view from a singaporean window looks like especially if you live in the central and you are living in a, in a higher floor um, yeah, as you can see, the building in front of me is uh, very, very cool. Uh, it has some sort of like an extension to the to the space, and uh, I will need to take a look at the Google Maps if those are just simply, um, you know, balconies, or uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they were private pools. So, anyways, this is the view which is charging me with energy which gives me motivation uh, because um, as i mentioned in my other videos i work very very long hours and uh, if i didn't have something nice because this in my eyes is nice if i didn't have something nice to look at during the day for at least five minutes between my meetings to sort of recharge and um, put my mind into uh, into an ease i would probably burn out uh, fall into the depression uh, frustration and such but every time i work long long hours and just uh, stand in this corner in uh, our living room and look outside it just uh, give me very very positive vibes so i really like this place because because of this view it's really really beautiful anyways the other thing besides the 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 view what i want to share with you is what i call extreme garden gardening at the 20th floor let me walk you through over uh, through the few plants which i have over here so this guy uh, this guy I have for a couple of years now. Uh, the name of this plant is Eric. I got it when it was three leaves, three leaves big. Uh, see how nicely it is growing. Uh, take a look at this leaf over here, the broken one. That's, uh, that's the damage you know, caused by my baby also over here. And because I value this plant, because this was the first plant that I have bought over here I had to put it on a stand to elevate it so that the baby can't reach it and damage it anymore uh, anyways uh, from this what is this um, not eucalyptus gosh what is the name of this plant now I cannot remember Ficus, not the eucalyptus. I think it's some, some sort of a ficus, but very nice one because the colors of the leaves are, are you know, nice and reddish color, uh, especially when they're the young ones. Then when they, when they grow older, uh, they are more towards the green uh, and lighter colors, but when they are fresh and young, I don't know if you can see, but they are more reddish. Uh, the, we have other red plants, I don't ask me about the names. I bought only one. Now they multiplied. I have maybe 20 of them. So this is the mother plant, the first one which I have purchased. And this has, this has had maybe 20 other plants so far. So this is one of the offspring from this plant. This guy over here, 
a lime tree. It used to be outside. This is a favorite plant where all the butterflies would come, lay their eggs, and once the caterpillars would hatch, it would destroy this plant completely. As the result, we didn't have lime on this plant for the past year and a half, because if you take a look at the details, at the leaves, they are just so, so damaged. Right now, the plant is in recovery because it is inside, but when it was outside, it was completely naked. Not a single leaf was on this poor plant. Once I put it inside, replanted it, gave it a new soil, within three days, the whole plant turned white with the flowers because the plant wants to thank me for saving it. So if we get lucky, we may have some, some limes um, later, maybe, maybe next month or so. The other plants which I absolutely fell in love with, those, those, those will be orchids. Okay, so over here I have a few orchids which I'm usually buying and getting from the neighbors once they drop down the, the, the flowers. In a shop, when you go to a flower shop, here's a trick. When you go to a flower shop and you're buying an orchid which, which has a flowers, when you're buying an orchid which has a flowers, the price is around 30 sing dollars. If you go to a big shop, and you ask them, hey, where do you keep the orchids which drop the flowers already? It's usually around the building. The orchids look like this, okay? So no flowers, but the price is not $30. Now it is $5. So that's what actually I am doing. I am uh, buying the um, orchids that nobody wants for a fraction of the price and then I'm trying to bring them to have the flowers again and it's always a surprise and I cannot wait what the color of the orchid will be. So anyways, that's about it. That's the gardening at the 20th floor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.